okay so uh, we are going to cover five levels of security or five levels of protection in excel so the first one is range protection isko dekhenge sabse pehle this is range protection second we are going to see range protection with multiple passwords third is the workbook structure protection fourth is workbook protection and we are going to see complete and five is the workbook protection and this is partial so ye panch dekhenge these are the different areas or different alag alag options hai jisme hum excel ko secure kar sakte we are going to all see all these five options now let us start with the first option the range protection okay so let us start with a new file now this is sheet 1 mujhe kya karna hai in this sheet i just wanted to protect the sheet in such a way that nobody can write something nobody can edit something delete something only they can view the data so mujhe is tarah se protection karna hai taki log data ko sirf dekh paaye aur kuch na kar paaye delete bhi possible nahi hai edit bhi possible nahi hai no new data entry is possible so this is achieved by two steps two steps hame karna padega to get this task done one first is the lock and second step is the protect both this step are mandatory right ek ke baad ek hame karna hi padega lock karne ke liye anybody koi bata sakte ho what is lock uh, so uh, lock theek nahi bolunga what is the basically uh, uh, how can we go to format cell lock hum karte hain format cell se where can we go to format cell from where format cell kaise ja sakte hain कंट्रोल वन आइर यू कैन यूज कंट्रोल वन और हम क्या कर सकते हैं राइट क्लिक भी कर सकते हैं राइट राइट क्लिक और कंट्रोल वन चल नाउ वेर वी कैन फाइंड प्रोटेक्ट इट्स इन रिव्यू टैब या वी कैन से प्रोटेक्ट सीट प्रोटेक्ट सीट प्रोटेक्ट सीट हमें कहा मिलता है दिस इज इन रिव्यू टैब एंड वर्ड द शॉर्टकट ऑफ प्रोटेक्ट सीट ऑल टी पी एंड पी वन आफ्टर अनदर ऑल टी पी पी सो दीज आर द टू स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट वर्ड इज द लॉक यूजिंग फॉर्मैट सेल एंड द सेकेंड इज प्रोटेक्ट यूजिंग प्रोटेक्ट सीट सो लेट अस टेक एन एग्जाम्पल अब आप बताइए to go to format cell before going to format cell what is the step that we have to do kaun sa step karna padta hai format cell mein jaane se pehle koi bata sakte hai anybody select the desired range so in this case is sheet mein mujhe sare cells ko select karna hai because is sheet mein mujhe kuch bhi chhodna nahi sab kuch lock karna so in this sheet i have to select the entire range first then go to control 1 in the control 1 In the last tab, protection tab में एक logged का option है. There is one option named as logged in the protection tab. अब करना क्या है? This is by default आप देखो checked है. So initially this is by default checked. So I'll just recheck कि ये checked है कि नहीं. कभी-कभी checked नहीं होता तो मुझे check करना पड़ेगा. And I'm going to see that whether this is checked or not. और मैं check कर दूँगा. So this is the first step which is by default done. But as I said that both the steps are mandatory. नहीं तो मैं अभी लिख सकता हूं सो आई नीड टू प्रोटेक्ट द शीट आफ्टर लॉग इन द सेल्स सो शीट को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट नथिंग टू यूज दिस प्रोटेक्ट ऑप्शन सिलेक्शन इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट द एंटायर शीट सो कैसे जाएंगे लेट्स गो टू रिव्यू टैब 
Now this is showing protect C. This one. Now we can go like this. So I can use a password and the shortcut is Alt T P P. So this is asking for a password. Let's see A B C. Enter A B C. Enter. Done. Now in this sheet I cannot write anything. Bro, कुछ भी नहीं कर सकता। I cannot delete. Nothing is. And every options is disabled. यहाँ पर कुछ काम नहीं होगा। Clear content कुछ भी नहीं होगा। Nothing. If I wanted to add something, so I have to unprotect, and this is asking for a password. So these are the two steps. This is clear, everybody. Yeah, basic scenario clear. Hey, okay. see, the first thing we have to understand that what is the difference between lock and protect. Lock and protect. को अगर मैं simple से language में बोलूँ, simple से language, that if I am going to enter into a room, मैं किसी एक building में अगर enter कर रहा हूँ, right? या building से निकल रहा हूँ, if I am going to uh, मूव आउट ऑफ द बिल्डिंग तो हमें सबसे पहले क्या करना पड़ता है बताइए नॉर्मली हम लोग क्या करते हैं अगर हमें किसी अपने घर से निकलना है तो क्या करते हैं इंडिविजुअल गेट्स जो अंदर में है इंटरनल जो गेट है उसको हमने लॉक कर दिया एंड प्रोटेक्ट इज द फाइनल प्रोटेक्शन जो हम बाहर से मेन गेट को बंद कर देते हैं राइट नाउ इन दिस वन इन दिस एक्शन सीट लॉक मीन्स I am allowing user, or I am just uh, giving instruction to Excel that I wanted to lock this cell, or I wanted to protect. Lock or protect का मतलब हो गया कि to use the protect we have to lock. If I am not locking, अगर मैं lock नहीं करता हूँ तो क्या दिक्कत आएगी? देखिए, uh, I have locked. So locked में तो मुझे पता चल गया. I, I am clearly this is visible that I am unable to write anything. So let us repeat this first. and i'll go go with one more example in that we will clearly understand what is the difference between lock and protect ek bar dekhte hain is okay now we will clearly understand that what is the major difference between lock and protect the see both are different thing there is no we cannot differentiate between these two things because if i say that what is the difference between word and excel both are different things word is used to write a document where excel is used to create a report isi tarah se lock and protect ko hum ek bar dekhenge aur example pe let us first repeat this task again so the first step is to lock and second step is to protect so lock karne ke liye kya karna padega i have to select the entire range because i wanted to select or lock the entire range so main kya karunga main sare range ko select karunga control 1 i'll go with the last protection tab mein yahan logged hai and by default this logged is true logged kiya ho rehta hai agar nahi hai to i'll just recheck aur usko main kar dunga after going to okay it will work ye kaam karega ye kaam karega because as i said that both the steps are mandatory sirf andar mein lock karne se nahi hoga mujhe main gate ko bhi lock karna hai tabhi to mera protection hoga so let us see this example mein aapko lock ka zyada significance pata nahi chalega because hum protect kar rahe the protect se hi sara kaam ho jata hai to lock kyon kar rahe hai na ye questions dimag mein aa rahe honge so we are going to cover another example where we are going to see some different lock patterns to us pe dekhenge hum so protect sheet ए बी सी एंड एंटर पासवर्ड भूलना नहीं है ए बी सी डन ना इन दिस केस आई है मैं जब इनिशियली स्टार्ट किया था कि दैट वट इज द यूज ऑफ लॉक देन अगर प्रोटेक्शन से काम हो रहा है तो लॉक का काम क्या हो रहा है लेट एस सी अनदर एग्जाम्पल सो वट आई टू डू आई हैव टू अलाउ यूजर to enter data into a specific range main chahta hu ki sirf isi range mein user data entry kare only user is able to enter the data into this yellow range only baki rest of the data sab mein wo allowed na rahe to maine kya bataya tha these are the two steps ab aap batao lock kisko rakhna hai which part should be locked white part should be locked white part should be locked yes so let us reconfirm to white part already locked even each and every cell is locked now मुझे क्या करना है आई सिलेक्ट द येलो पार्ट कंट्रोल वन एंड आई रिमूव द लॉक मैंने लॉक को छोड़ दिया मैंने एक रूम उनको दे दिया कि इस रूम में आप एंटर कर सकते ओके नाउ लेट अस गो टू रिव्यू प्रोटेक्ट शीट ए बी सी ए बी सी डन नाउ आई एम अनेबल टू एंटर डेटा इन टू दिस पार्ट बट इधर डेटा एंट्री हो रहा है नाउ द डिफरेंस इज क्लियर बिटवीन लॉक एंड प्रोटेक्ट मतलब लॉक इज द इंटरमीडिएट स्टेप एक इनिशियल स्टेप है 
कि आपको डिसाइड करना है कि किसको प्रोटेक्ट करना है और किसको नहीं करना है सो दैट इज द लॉक प्रोसेस एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर जस्ट फाइनलाइजिंग दिस विद द प्रोटेक्शन सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लॉक एंड प्रोटेक्ट लॉक कहां करना है कैसे करना है दिस इज वेरी वेरी सो फ्यू ऑफ यू आज द क्वेश्चन दैट इफ आई वॉन्टेड टू इंसर्ट इफ आई वॉन्टेड टू लॉक ए करेंट रो या कोई एक रो या कोई कॉलम सो यूजिंग दिस मेथड आई कैन डू Now, okay. So, uh, third scenario, right? So, third scenario is basically that I wanted to protect in such a way so that nobody can able to copy paste the data also. In both the scenario. We are able to copy the data. यहाँ से copy कर सकते हैं. Even I can copy the data from this data. But I wanted to protect the third sheet in such a way that nobody can copy paste the data from this sheet. Only they can view the data. Now, so to disable the copy paste, अगर copy paste को disable करना है, what we have to do? We have to disable the select. मैं select नहीं कराऊँगा तो obviously copy paste would be disabled. So the first step is to Disable all the users that they are not able to select the data. Now let us see. The first step is to lock. That should be done. So this by default, the each and every cell is locked. Now second step is to protect. A protect. We see what we have to do. These are the few options which we can check and allow users or uncheck and disallow users. So this first is select locked cells. This is checked that user would be able to select the logged cells. Just say first sheet me was. I I am able to select, but I I am unable to write anything. But I'll uncheck this option. Here I am going to uncheck this option. Means select select logged cells. Nobody will allow to select the logged cells. Now let us write a password A B C A B C. Enter. Up kya hoga dekhi. I am unable to select anything because select logged cells is disabled. So if I am unable to select anything, so copy paste तो होना ही नहीं है. Copy paste is disabled. What we have done? हमने क्या किया था? Protect sheet में जाके. This was the default option. I have unchecked this option. Select log cells. Now using this, whenever I am going to use password, log the sheet. So यहाँ पर मैं क्या करूँगा? कुछ भी select नहीं कर सकता. Nothing is being selected. Okay. So let us move into the second sheet again. अब यहाँ पर एक चीज़ देखिए, I am able to write anything, but if I wanted to insert a row, if I wanted to insert a row here, so there is no any option because this is disabled. So what I wanted to do that user is able to insert a row in the sheet. कैसे करेंगे? Let us go with this step. Same process. Here it's option. Is there that insert rows option? Insert rows. So these are the list of options that I'll allow users. उसको अगर check कर देंगे if I'm going to check the option, then this option would be allowed. This is enabled. If I'm going to uncheck, so this is disabled. So in this case, I'll enable this option which is insert rows. Now let us write the password. अब देखिए क्या होगा. अगर मैं यहाँ पर करता हूँ insert, so it's showing the insert option. Now this is inserted. चल so we have done with the three scenarios and three scenarios are the part of this one this one which is range protection so we have done with this range protection now let us move into the second option which is range protection multiple passwords range protection multiple passwords let's suppose i am working on a file let us close this one first i am working on a file and i am the owner of this file and i wanted two of my colleagues to enter data into the sheet and let's suppose this is the range this is the area where i wanted amit should enter the data and it could be any column any row so in this example i have taken a specific range so this range is for amit and let's say this range is for rajiv okay ye range amit ka hai और ये रेंज राजीव का है नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज दैट आई जस्ट सेंड दिस फाइल टू बोथ अमित एंड राजीव एंड आई जस्ट यूज डिफरेंट पासवर्ड फॉर टू डिफरेंट रेंज इसका पासवर्ड अलग होगा 
इसका पासवर्ड अलग होगा सो बोथ द पासवर्ड वुड बी डिफरेंट एंड राजीव विल नॉट बी एबल टू एंटर डेटा इनटू द अमित पार्ट एंड अमित विल नॉट बी एबल टू एंटर इन द राजीव पार्ट बिकॉज दे दे विल दे विल हैव देयर ओन पासवर्ड उनके पास अपना पासवर्ड होगा राइट नाउ लेट अस सी हाउ टू डू दिस वेरी इजी ऑप्शन आई विल गो टू रिव्यू टैब देयर इज शोइंग अलाउ एडिट रेंजेस दिस इज द ऑप्शन allow edit ranges now using this option we can do that let us see how can we do that so i'll go with this one it's asking to create a new range new range so new now it's asking for the title so title could be anything kuch bhi de sakte any name so as in this in this example we have given amit amit maine le liya is range ka title range kaun sa hoga what would be the range this is the range and the third is the password let's say password is a for amit ye password de diya and repeat the password a so i have created a range for amit similarly i'll be creating a range for rajiv new same process se karunga rajiv this is the range and password is let's say p click okay p now but we have to go with the final step also which is protect seed and this is the let's say this is the master password or admin password so i'll go with this a b c and this password will be with me wo mere paas hi aayega first done now i'll just share the password with both of them and i'll just send this file whenever amit try to enter in the data so it will be prompted for a password even this area is also prompted for a password yahan par koi password nahi aayega because this area is disabled completely disabled agar wo yahan par entry karna chahte hai to it must go with a password a and then click okay now the entire area is open yahan nahi hoga yahan par jaane ke liye b dena padega jo rajiv ke paas hoga so rajiv enter so this is how we can use multiple range to create a password protected range right this yes. chaliye so we have done with the second option second this is range protection multiple passwords and it will work for multiple columns as well multiple columns ko bhi kar sakte now let us go with the workbook structure anybody can you explain that what is workbook structure kya ho sakta hai anybody What is workbook structure? Okay, मैं बताता हूं देखिए थोड़ा सा मिलता जुलता है लेट एस सपोज आई एम वर्किंग ऑन ए फाइल एंड वी हैव मल्टीपल सीट इन दैट फाइल द फर्स्ट सीट इज लेट से होम मैंने एक होम किया है लेट से दिस इज द डेटा शीट दिस इज द रिपोर्ट शीट दिस इज द एनालिसिस and this is the task board is tarah se maine ek report create kiya now i wanted to lock the structure structure ka matlab hota hai nobody will allow to add a sheet sheet add nahi kar sakte naya even i cannot delete any sheet i cannot rename a sheet i cannot move the sheet from home to yahan par aise nahi kar sakte everything would be disabled means i wanted to lock the architecture of this file Or else i can do anything on the sheet but the structure would be locked even if i am going to hide aage ja ke dekhenge later on we can we will see the option that how to hide a sheet agar maine koi sheet ko hide karke rakha hua hai so it will also uh, means lock this feature so that nobody will allow to unhide the sheet bas agar so let us see how can we do this so i'll go with this review tab under review tab this is showing protect workbook under workbook this is showing structure So I'll just use a password A B C A B C. That's it. Pass or कुछ नहीं करना है. Now right click. Everything is disabled. Each and every option is disabled. I am unable to add any sheet. This is disabled. Rename allowed नहीं है. Workbook is protected and cannot be changed. Even I am unable to right click delete. So delete is disabled. right so delete is disabled addition of sheet is disabled rename of sheet is disabled i cannot move the sheet from one place to another so the architecture is completely locked rest i can do anything on the file on the sheet uh, 
Now, in this file, we have logged the features. We have logged the basically every each and everything. Architecture is logged. Now I can go with protect workbook ABC. Now this is enabled. Now I can right click, delete, and edit. If if I in this case, if I wanted to hide the data sheet, right click hide. I can unhide using this option. Okay, data. But see how we can hide a sheet. Let's suppose this uh, the data sheet is not in use. I want I don't want it to show this data sheet to anybody. So what I can do? I can right click and hide the sheet. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to unhide, I can go with this unhide and select the sheet and click OK. okay. It's this sheet will be unhided. And if I wanted to disable the user to unhide, so what we can do after the hide option, I can go with this protect sheet. ABC. So, so this unhide option is not there. So we have done with this third scenario as well. Let us see. What is basically complete and partial protection? Now, whenever I'm working on a file, let's say this is my critical file and I wanted that nobody is able to open this file without a password. I, I wanted to lock this file, not the particular sheet, the file, so that I double click the file, ko open karunga, so it must ask for a password. Let us see. So, save as the shortcut. Kya F12. F12 is save as. F12. Now, in some of the systems, direct function ki kaam nahi karte. They are not working directly. F1, F2, F3, they are not working directly. So, in that case, what we have to do? We have to go with this Fn key. Fn key. And Fn key ke saath we can use this. Right. Now, let us see. So, this is F12, I have got, uh, done with this F12, which is the shortcut for save as, right. Now this is desktop, what I'll do, I'll just go with this tools. There is a tools option. Under tools, there is general options. So tools, general option, this is showing password to open. I'll use a password, ABC. Click OK, ABC. Click OK. Let us go with this desktops or may save kaleta. Let's say my yeah, report. Let's say report. Okay. What we have done? Tools, general option, ABC kardiata, and then ABC karke save. Let us go with this one. Now let's close this file, minimize this one. Now this is my file, which is report. Right. Double click. Now it will ask for a password. The code is protected. So if I don't know the password, so we can only get work there. Let us see. A, B, C. Enter. Now I will be able to write anything because I have opened this file. So any, any confidential file, what you can do? You can go with this method. Shall Now how to remove a password? Option. F12, I'll go with this tools, general options, and general options. So I can remove this one. Click OK, save. Yes. Let us close this file, go with this one, and open the file again, which is report. Now this is open. Now this is showing complete protection. This was the complete protection. Now let us see what is partial protection. Sorry, complete file. Parcel protection ka ho gaya. The purpose of parcel protection is let's say if I know the password, I can open the file and I can edit anything into that file. And if I don't know the password, then also I can open the file, but I cannot add or edit anything. Matab, read only mode mein open ho so this method is uh, useful when there is some confidential data, let's say, ya koi aisa data which we generally share with our colleagues yeah kisi ke saath bhi aap share karte and i want nobody should edit the data only they can view the data and if myself also agar mai bhi usko edit karna chahu to i i need to enter with the password let us see so i will use the same process f12 general options this is showing password to modify right i'll go with this option password to modify a b c 
ए बी सी ओके सेव यस नाउ लेट अस सी इफ आई वांटेड टू ओनली व्यू द डेटा नथिंग एल्स सो व्हाट आई विल डू आई विल जस्ट ओपन दिस फाइल and this is asking for a password i'll say that i don't know the password or i i want don't wanted to enter or write anything into that i just wanted to view so i'll click on this read only isko open karunga and i can view the data as this file is read only so that i am unable to save this file this file ko main save nahi kar paunga because this file is read only file right i can write anything i can delete but i cannot save that file because read, this is read only but If I wanted to make changes on this file, just a schedule hota hai and team sheet and nothing like this. So what I'll do, I'll go with this again. Or I'll go here for password. Se jaunga, which is A B C. Click OK. Done. Now this is not read-only file. This file is the normal file. I can write anything. I can save. I save this. Right. The process is same. F12 tools. जनरल ऑप्शन दिस द ऑप्शन पासवर्ड टू मॉडिफाई आई हैव राइट सो दिस आर द फाइव सिनेरियोस दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड राइट नाउ एंड दिस इज द कंप्लीट प्रोटेक्शन एवरीथिंग इज देयर नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी द विजिबिलिटी ऑप्शन रो हाइड कॉलम हाइड शीट हाइड देयर आर शीट एंड हाइड ग्रिड लाइंस हाइड एंड हाइड कॉलम्स हेडर साइड एंड हाइड शीट टैब्स हाइड एंड हाइड formula height and height so there are multiple options that we are going to see in the next class and we are going to also see that how we can take the backup how backup mechanism work in excel excel mein backup kaise kaam karta hai so we are going to see in the next session